What do you want? When I was 11, 12 years old, I was so skinny and I hated it. I was a soccer player and I was looking around at all those people around me and they were developing muscles, you know, but I was so skinny. I was looking at my own legs and they were thin as toothpicks. But you know what I believed about muscle? I believed that you had to be fat in order to gain muscle. And I was skinny. I was eating everything, but I didn't gain weight. So it was impossible for me to develop muscle because that is what I believed. Until one day, I walked up to a friend in my age. His name was Joseph. And I said, Joseph, look at you. You have, you know, bigger arms. You, you look at you, you're developing muscle. And look at me, I'm so skinny. And he said, hey, Noah, I can see that you're running a lot, but are you actually exercising your muscles? And I said, hey, Joseph, it's not possible for me because I'm not fat. And he said, hey, no, it's not about being fat. It's about exercising your muscles, right? And I was like, what? And when I started to do that, right, I started to see result. And when I saw that my arms were growing a little bit in my thighs, I got more belief. So I started taking even more action, exercising even more, and my muscle grew even more. My point being is, what do you want? Because everybody has something that they want. And that is what I want to talk to you about today. What is keeping us from getting what we really want? And that is your limiting belief. If you have an area where you feel like this is what I want and you can't seem to get it, the question is, what do you believe about that situation? What do you believe in that situation? Because that is what is keeping you from getting it. It's like tightening a knot with a screwdriver. If you believe that you tighten a knot by doing it the left way with a screwdriver, it won't work. But as soon as you start believing that it's turning the screwdriver right, it will work. So it's all a matter of what you believe. If you believe that you can't lose weight because you're a big bone, it won't happen for you. Or if you want to become rich and you believe that, hey, I won't become rich because I come from a poor background, my family's poor, I will be poor, right? Then you won't become rich. And if you want to gain or strengthen your relationship with your father and mother, but you keep telling yourself that you won't because they're so stubborn, they're angry all the time and that's their genes, then you won't be able to strengthen those relationships. Those are your limiting beliefs. And you might say, okay, no, I understand all of this. I understand that it might be my limiting beliefs that are keeping me from what I really want. But how do I get rid of it? How do we get rid of our limiting beliefs? The answer I want to give you, my friend, is to create doubt. Doubt is so powerful if we use it like I did. I started doubting that it was all about getting me getting fat. It wasn't true anyway. And I had to start believe that it was all about exercise. And what if it's the same in your situation? You have to start doubting what you're believing because it's stopping you, right? And how do we create doubt? You have to start feeding yourself with the examples of people that have made it before you, that have already done it. If you want to lose weight, you have to get around people that have lost weight in a good and healthy way. And you have to find out what are they believing about exercise and food. And if you do the same, guess what? You will experience the same miracles. Or if you want to become rich, read some books, watch a movie, a YouTube clip about people that have been poorer than you and made it. And if you want to strengthen your relationship with your mom and dad, you have to get around people that have already done it. Read a book about it, about a person despite all those obstacles, made it, strengthen the relationship. So to sum it up, what do you want? And what is keeping us from what we want is our limiting beliefs. And tear down the walls of your limiting beliefs and start believing what is true and what truly works by feeding yourself with the examples of people that have made it before you. And if you do that, you will see that the impossible will become possible for you. So explore your potential and live to grow.